you're trying to restrict people, impose mandates, if you're trying to ruin their jobs and their livelihoods and their small business, if you are trying to lock people down, I am standing in your way and I'm standing for the people of Florida. Get this border secure and until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. I am independent journalist Georgia Ford. Thank you so much for joining us. We're learning more about the Delta variant as more and more cases surface across the nation. What we know now is that the Delta variant is responsible for more than 80% of COVID cases nationwide. Joe Biden had a lot to say, especially in terms of the way Florida is dealing with the pandemic currently. Take a listen. What are we doing? COVID-19 is a national challenge, and it must come together. We have to come together, all of us together, as a country to solve it. The escalation of cases is particularly concentrated in states with low vaccination rates. Just two states, Florida and Texas, account for one-third of all new COVID-19 cases in the entire country. Just two states. Look, we need leadership from everyone. If some governors aren't willing to do the right thing to beat this pandemic, then they should allow businesses and universities who want to do the right thing to be able to do it. I say to these governors, please help. But if you aren't going to help, at least get out of the way of the people who are trying to do the right thing. Use your power to save lives. I know that we have talked extensively this week about children going back to school and the implications that this could have on them. Uh, Brother Mac and Ben, uh, what are your thoughts on Biden's approach? I mean, it feels like he is putting this in the hands of governors statewide, but ultimately he does have a lot of control as the president as well. He's mandating to the Pentagon about vaccinations and about wearing masks. So where he has control as the commander in chief, he's flexing that control. He's respecting the fact that he cannot mandate to governors what they need to do in their state. So from that perspective, and I think that Biden is clearly following the guidelines of the CDC and Dr. Rochelle Wynaski. So he's listening to the science. And as this variant uh, mutates and changes. And according to science, when they see the new impact of it, uh, Biden, unlike his predecessor, is making the uh, appropriate changes. Well, I want you guys to take a listen. Uh, Florida governor responded to Biden's remarks. And uh, as many of you know, Florida has been a hot spot. Uh, DeSantis, here's his response to Biden. Uh, Joe Biden is taken to himself to try to single out Florida um, over COVID. Uh, this is a guy who ran for president saying he was going to, quote, shut down the virus. And what has he done? He's imported more virus from around the world by having a wide open southern border. So his vision is, just like in New York City, restaurants should ban young kids from being able to go in because they're not eligible for vaccination. And law-abiding citizens have to produce proof of their medical records just to go to the gym or attend an event or just to participate in everyday society. He wants that, but yet if you want to vote, he thinks it's too much of a burden to show a picture ID when you're voting. So no voter ID, but have to show your medical papers just to be able to live an everyday life? Give me a break. And so I think the question is, is we can either have a free society or we can have a biomedical security state. What does is, what is voting rights have to do with the pandemic? He's really showing his Republican Party the fact that you have the nerve to make this pandemic about how to vote, different um, hoops that people have to jump through to vote. One thing does it. The only thing that it has to do with the other is the fact that you've been voted into this position and you are failing your state. You're failing your state. Meanwhile, while you're saying that you're trying to give parents a choice, people are dying. But what is clear to me is the reason why the pandemic has anything to do with voting. It's apparent that the Sanders has his eyes on the Oval Office. And I think that if Trump does not run for real for, for president of the United States in 2024, he is now positioning himself to run for, for that office. But, 
you know, the other thing that we have to keep in mind is that when you talk about Florida, think, you know, just we should all recognize that Florida makes up about 6% of the U.S. population. And I can tell you, Florida, we're a free state. Joe Biden suggests that if you don't do lockdown policies, then you should, quote, get out of the way. But let me tell you this. If you're trying to restrict people, impose mandates, if you're trying to ruin their jobs and their livelihoods and their small business, if you are trying to lock people down, I am standing in your way and I'm standing for the people of Florida. So why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Yet one in five of the new cases of this Delta, of this COVID variant that are, is coming out, is coming out in the state of Florida. So Florida is clearly, clearly a hot spot. And it is apparent that DeSantis is in a state of delusion when he talks about that. So when he makes the statement that we are a free state, well, the other thing that he needs to understand is, you know, you are a free state, but you're an infected state. Mm. So how good is your free state when one in five of the new cases in the United States are coming mm. out of your state. So what good is it to be free when you're infected and could potentially die? Good morning, Georgia, and good morning, uh, Dr. Mack. Governor DeSantis is most certainly positioning himself to try to run for governor. He has seen that America is quite okay with the mediocrity of white men. And so he feels like this is his time to shine. He's never had this kind of opportunity to be such a lackluster leader and still be able to be considered for the presidency because we're at an absurd time in time in American history where the height of your ignorance determines the altitude of your trajectory if you are a Republican. DeSantis is exactly doing what Brother Max said. He is leading a state with the highest rate of new infections. This is this is what's going on in Florida is a what's going on across the country is atrocious. But what's underneath it is the level of ignorance that is rewarded for conservatives. We have to start putting measures in place. Otherwise, as you see, we're going to get more variants and these mm -hmm. numbers are going to continue to in increase it's it's just it's science yeah you know one of the one of the things that the governor also made a statement to and again he's following the playbook of trump what he says is this is seasonal and soon as i heard that seasonal it reminded me of february 10th 2020 when when negative 45 trump said by april in theory it gets warmer and it miraculously goes away. So there's no attention to science here. He wants to just pretend that this spike is just like he said, it's seasonal. It's not very real. It's nothing that we have to worry about. And if we go back and think about what negative 45 said in February of 2020, that this will miraculously go away. Well, 600 plus thousand American lives lost because he did absolutely nothing and followed the exact same, that playbook that he laid out is the exact same playbook that we're seeing DeSantis lay out. And we're clearly right. going to see, should he continue down that path, the devastation and the loss of lives in the state of Florida. Former governor of the state of, of Florida, Charlie Chris said this uh, about DeSantis. He says that he has a blatant disregard for the health and well-being of children and teachers. And that is mm. clear. When you look at the policy and the stance that he has taken against That's all right. science. So DeSantis has a very reactionary approach to the pandemic uh, and, and asking for there not to be judgment. Yet we heard him making judgment in his his previous statement uh, against Biden. And so for me, DeSantis, he's it feels like he's playing. He's trying to play both sides of the fence here. And meanwhile, playing Russian roulette with the citizens who live in Florida. Well, well, Georgia, there's a reason why he had a very reactionary uh, response to that. And it's because he signed an executive order banning the requirement of children to wear masks. So in a sense, when that question was asked to him, he realized that because of his executive actions as the governor of the state, the well-being of those children could very well be placed at his decision, a decision that he made. So as this virus keeps mutating, 
those variables keep changing. So there's, it, you know, a, 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 it seems that some of us that we think that scientists just ought to have the answers. We don't. And I'm saying we because to some degree as an engineer, I'm in that science community. That is what you have to do. You have to as quickly as you can, but as safely as you can, you have to keep testing, looking at the variables. And again, because this this virus, it cares about preserving itself. It is going to continue to mutate. And as it mutates, it's developing defense mechanisms against whatever it is that that we had as a vaccine. We did not listen to the science of it all. Here we are a year and a half later or a year plus later, not where we all think we should have been and maybe where we could have been had we listened to the science at that time. What are your closing thoughts, especially on how parents should be uh, thinking about this as they prepare to send their kids back to school? I'm organizing across the South um, and I'm connecting with people, uh, particularly because we have to do what we have to do to protect our kids. The government won't. And I'm not leaving the safety of my children in the hands of sociopaths who are gonna put the profits of companies over our children. So organize. Meet your neighbors, make sure that your neighbors are vaccinated and then create a pod so that you can have some type of homeschooling with your community, safe, vaccinated homeschooling so that you don't have to put your family's life at risk in the hands of people like Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump.